Right, so I'm going to show you how to set up and how to create an auto blogger step by step. That is essentially a blog, right? This is your blog that produces and automatically posts content every single day of the week, every single hour, every single month to your blog, right? Essentially, it uh, lives by itself, right? It generates and publishes content on autopilot for you without you having to do a thing. Now, before I do show you how that works, I want to show you the type of content it's going to produce, right? This, everything you see here, every single one of these articles is AI generated. The images here, the tables of contents, which are interactive, by the way, uh, the links, right? The in-article videos, the in-article images, the videos that are, by the way, they're relevant, not just to the article itself, right? But relevant to the section in which they're included in, right? The whole, the whole content here, the FAQ, the internal links, external links, images, uh, there's down here a conclusion, more images, all this, which you can just click here to post straight to your site. I, I can skim through these ones, right? I can skim through them one by one, like so, skim through them, post, go post, go post one by one to my site. Or if I want to put it a step further, I can just click publish all to integration. It's going to publish all six. But you want to know how to set up an auto blogger, essentially something that produces, essentially connecting this little tool right here, journalist AI with your blog, right? And it, on autopilot, it generates plus publishes without you having, without you, sorry, having to click any buttons. Now, the way you do this, it's super simple. It's going to take like, it's going to take you like uh, 30 seconds to explain. So first things first is you go to tryjournalist.com, right? Like so, click login. And once you're in, you go down here to auto blogs, new auto blog, right? After that, just name it whatever you want. Let's name it uh, my um, karting blog, right? Or my karting site, whatever, two. Um, then select a preset. I'll go over what these are in just a second here. But then you just select how many articles you want to post, right? The frequency, and then do the month, week, day, or every 12 or six hours. So in this case, every week, 10 articles are going to be posted to my blog, right? Select your integration. By the way, your integration can be any one of these ones. If I go here to integrations, um, new integration, I can connect with my WordPress site, Shopify uh, site, Ghost, Wix, Webflow Blogger, or even Zapier or an external API, right? So again, go here to auto blogs, new auto blog, name it whatever you want. Uh, select the quantity, number of articles you're going to produce every single day and select the frequency, right? Then select your integration, click live and click create an auto blog. Now, the one only missing step right here is this one, the preset, right? This is where the auto blog is going to be taking the content from, if that makes sense, right? So let me go over here and create a preset. So if I go here to presets, right? New preset right here. Now this, all these steps are essentially me giving the AI info on what type of content it should be producing, right? And there's all these steps here. I'll go over them one by one. So videos, do I want to include videos in my articles, right? I do. So I just enable this. And like I showed you before, right, the articles are all going to have a, a featured image, a table of contents, right? In article images, in article videos, which you just enable this and the videos are going to be automatically put, posted in here. So it, it will write the article, then go on YouTube and find, okay, what's the most relevant video I can add to this article, right? And it's going to add the video to the article, not in a random place. It's going to add it to the section in which it's most relevant for. Does that make sense, right? So if you want to do it manually, you can just add them here. Uh, to the to this little box right here. Well, let's do this automatically right now. Enable. Uh, then images. Here is where you can select if you want uh, featured images. So the image at the top and in article images, right? the images inside of the article. Um, you can also select the type of images you want. So you want to use stock photos, Google license-free photos, maybe custom images, right? Maybe you want to use your own custom images or AI-based images. These ones look insanely realistic. I mean, it's it's becoming hard to tell the difference right from real life to these ones. So I recommend you choose these ones. If you do choose AI images, you can select and put in here some prompts. So you maybe want to make them uh, hyper-realistic, uh, illustrative, uh, Simpson-like, right? Uh, the vector style. You could play, play around with this. Again, I'll, I'll leave a link for this in the description so you can try it out for yourself. Uh, let me just do uh, hyper-realistic right here. Then uh, these two, external and internal linking. So as you saw, right, the articles are going to have the content itself, right? And then they're going to have links scattered through it. So in these links, right, I don't want to link to, if we're talking about uh, external linking, if this article is about finance, for example, these are going to link back to Bloomberg, maybe, maybe to Investopedia, maybe to TechCrunch, right? They're going to link out to authoritative sources in the niche. Right? So if I just open this up right here, external linking, I just enable this, right? And it will scrape the internet for relevant articles in your niche and language. And none of this is random, right? If this article, again, is about finance and this paragraph talks about um, ETFs or let's say crypto, for example, both the anchor text, which is the little text you click to go to the link, as well as the link, as well as the article on the other side, are going to be relevant to each other. So there's a, a coherence here. Nothing is, is linked out randomly. So for example, if this talks about, I don't know, dogs, it won't, it won't link to an article about uh, the cars, right? There needs to be a relevancy. None of this is done randomly, right? 
again, the anchor text and the paragraph itself all make sense according to the article as a whole. So you just enable this automatically by doing this and you can add the ones you want extra right here if you like to, right? Um, internal linking is more or less the same, right? Uh, just paste in here a site map URL, sorry. And again, there are going to be articles throughout the link and it's going to link out to your site's homepage, maybe to your site's contact page, maybe to other blog posts of yours, right? Automatically, again, in a way that makes sense. Just paste in here your site map and that's that. Uh, structure, this is where you can add your call to action. So at the bottom of each article, we'll add a, a custom section, right? For example, if this article is about uh, blogging, about uh, gardening, right? And it talks about gardening, whatever. Down here is going to have a call to action to, for example, say your Shopify store that sells gardening supplies. If this article is about uh, plumbing, right? It's going to have a, a call to action down here, a, a whole paragraph with a link to your plumbing, plumbing service um, so people can call you, right? Uh, just paste in here your site. And again, you paste in here the URL, right? And we take in the URL and the relevancy of the URL to build out automatically this uh, call to action section. Again, none of this is random, right? Uh, you can enable and disable all, all these sections, right? Key takeaways if you'd like. It's a, this, this looks better. I do recommend you leave it, leave it enable, sorry. Conclusion FAQs and you can automate your headings or you can place them manually if you'd like. I mean, you can add as many as you want. Um, and down here is you selecting the uh, article length, right? Almost done. In the Knowledge tab, we can connect this to the internet so the articles are up to date with correct information. You can also connect your brand, excuse me, your brand. Uh, by connecting your brand, essentially what you're doing is you're basically you're able to connect your brand and your brand's assets, your size, your LinkedIn, your social media, all this, and you're able to produce non-bland AI content. So content with your own images, with your own brand's tone of voice, your brand's uh, knowledge. So it's, it's pretty powerful. I do recommend you to try this out too. So you're able to produce non-generic AI content. Then in the content tab, you select language. You can select from over 150 different languages. It's pretty cool. Um, you can select the creativity levels, right? It can be super original, creative, or maybe more cracked or factual. You can select the tone of voice, funny, and from academic, neutral. You can play around with this. Also, the point of view, and you can even add some custom instructions. Finally, the basis is where you select your generation mode. You want to generate the content based on keywords, titles, or, or just a description, and you put this in here, and you're done. Uh, once the preset is created, just go to generate articles, advanced mode, select your preset, right? Let me just do my, my dog grooming preset. As you can see, it's all populated right here, right? You can just go here, select how many articles I want to generate, 300, and just click generate. Now, that's the manual way. Again, if you want to, if you want to do it automatically, just go to auto blogs, new blog. All right, so again, just go here, name it whatever you want. Select the preset you just created. It could be my dog grooming preset. Select how many articles you want to post. Let's do five every week. Select my, my integration, so my website, my WordPress site. Enable, create new auto blog, right? And what's going to do is generally say it's going to be connected in this case with my WordPress site. And every week, it's going to be generating plus it's going to be posting five articles uh, every week, right? So one a day in theory. Uh, you can change that frequency as well inside of the integrations tab. Now, if you want to take this even a step further, it also, generally say I, the, the, the software, indexes the content for you automatically. Just go here to indexers right here, right? And we'll index the content for you on Google automatically. And if you want to take it even a step further, we also do the keyword research for you. If you just go to this little tab right here, called keyword monitors, right? I'll, I guess I'll show you real quick here. Last thing I want to show you, go here to keyword monitors, add a new one. I'm just going to click this one, which I already have. Uh, Place in your name, your website URL, the country, the language, and it's going to give you a bunch of keywords with low SEO difficulty, so that are easy to rank for in theory, and some decent uh, search volumes, right? And you can just select the ones you want and have content be produced around those keywords. That's it. That's exactly how you can set up an auto blogger, essentially a blog that automatically generates and posts content for you on autopilot content like just just like the one that I showed you before right in this case this was for the gardening niche but you can produce content around any topic for example let me just go over this one right here you can produce content around the uh, this niche right here which again all looks uh, great right so I mean the, the possibilities are endless really that's it that's the video again I'll leave a link for this in the description so you can try it out it's stridejournalist.com thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one cheers